Hello, travelers. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Sea Rants. It's been too long. I had, I had uploaded a reaction and then went on vacation, and now I gotta get back into the show. But we are cruising along. This, I think, is technically like the shortest episode of the show, question mark, but uh, loving it still. Man, the questions are flying. The theories are being crafted. You know, it's serious. I broke out the, the Mandalorian journal. I'm, I'm trying to get all my notes into different sections. So I have a character section for reference. I have upper management. I have Lumen broken down by departments, by what little lore about the Egans and the tenements of Eganity, I guess. And then I have my questions and theories page. So you already know that I'm on YouTube and I'm sure you might already be skipping this part too. Watching the videos is helps so much. It's subscribing helps, liking, commenting, all for the, the good of the, the algorithm. algorithm. But if you didn't already know, I've also launched my Patreon over on patreon.com slash movieman101. There's a back catalog of all my reaction content either that either has been uploaded or is being uploaded. And I'm talking uh, for a small fee, <laughs> no ads, limited to virtually no edits. So just raw, uncut, full episodes, everything from beef, Last of Us, uh, I'm doing all my succession, so especially those early succession videos, uh, Severance here, Interview with the Vampire, uh, all of that. And if you choose to, uh, to take part in the slightly higher tier, there are full movie reactions as well. Like a, a few films backlogged that I'm uploading that are like full, I'm just sitting down watching and commentating and reacting to a film. And as I go forward, I will be doing the same thing I do with TV shows, but in longer film format. And per request, what I'm trying to do going forward for my recordings on YouTube it has to be transparent but if you do want to support me on Patreon I'm going to hopefully include the non-transparent full HD like video version to accompany the reactions that I'm doing so if it all works out you'll see all that and more over there at patreon.com forward slash movie man 101 uh, to those of you that are already signed up to support Thank you. It means so much to me that you like what I do enough to be able to help me make more. And if you can't do it, then please don't. Please don't. Only do it if it's something you can feasibly, easily, and even want to do. Like, just please. <laughs> In the last episode, with the grim barbarity of optics and design, slowly in competition for my favorite Severance episode title so far of season one, Heli survived. Fortunately and unfortunately, take that as you will, suicide attempt was unsuccessful, so she's alive and with us and begrudging Mark at first, but they're kind of, I don't know, she's kind of coming back around to him a little bit. The various conversations between our head of security, Mr. Greener, and uh, Miss Cabell, my favorite character, uh, they confirmed that Peter, old Petey, he did reintegrate. Now, we know that he successfully did it until it killed him. So Irving and Bert, they're kind of becoming a cute little thing but like Irving's trying to investigate more into optics and design. Milchek was trying to dissuade him by sending these like fake commissioned paintings. It turns out that there's evidence that subsidiary employees are using like fear mongering, fear tactics and trying to keep everybody on the severed floor at severed. Huh? Furthering the spread of misinformation and trying to uh, diffuse any potential cooperation between departments. So keep forgetting her name. I'm so sorry. I'm sure I'll hear it again soon. But Mark's sister had her baby. That was cute. Also met a, a rich woman in one of the cabins, and there was a mysterious man walking out that I thought resembled Mr. Greener. Hard to say. But the woman in that cabin gave me the, the, the heebie-jeebies, if you will. It's something about her didn't sit right with me. Uh, additionally, we have a department of goats, question mark. There was a guy taking care of and presumably breeding goats for what purpose in on the severed floor? I couldn't tell you, but I'm sure we'll get there. I'm still trying to figure out timelines, right? And everybody's been doing a good job of not really spoiling anything in terms of narrative, but uh, there's just inconsistencies. Mark says my wife died a couple years ago, but then in the first episode, he tells Helly I woke up on that table several years ago. So was Mark severed before or after Gemma died? Like I thought Gemma was the catalyst, but the the time the time frames that he's given us via character dialogue just they don't track they don't 100 percent match up my crackpot tinfoil hat theory uh is gemma actually dead 
I feel like she is because you know him and like the sister and the brother-in-law all kind of like that's that's the what the, the current narrative for everybody how long has Mark actually been employed at Lumen I would love to know they might have already dropped that in previous episodes but I can't quite get a bead uh on when like how long exactly that he's he's worked for the company what does mdr actually do i think the numbers and the number sorting it's all self-regulation and they're like severed co brain coding i think it's all self-regulation and that at the end of the day the severed floor or severance if you will is all about human trials and experimentation but enough of that now we have actually potential cooperation on the horizon as Irving and Bert lead the charge to merge MDR and optics and design, and Harmony is letting it happen. I'm sure there's a lot of dystopian and darkness ahead of us. This is a completely new setting. Who are you? Are those little stuffed Egan's over there? There's a, yeah, that's that's Petey's, right? Oh, does she like sleep there at Lumen? Wait a second, whoa, the implications here are crazy. Is that Petey's or is that hers? Oh, I'm tell, like legit, because I mean, yes, Mr. Greener was like, keep it. We have the research, keep this. So one would pr presume immediately that that's Petey's, but why would she, unless it's a symbol of what she's working on here, like why would she wear Petey's severed implant? Already, I'm looking too much into it. I'm sure it is just Petey's. But it would be a crazy bait and switch. I also we ran the data from Kilmer's head like you asked. We found the signature from the console they used to hack the chip. Whose was it? Ours. I think it's traceable to Rogabi. Rogabi. Yeah. She cracked reintegration. I'll find her. Rogabi, is that somebody internal? Somebody internally helped him reintegrate. Somebody is trying to bring down the system from within, question mark. I'm sure it is just Petey's. It is, I just, I, it would have been a really cool bait and switch if it ended up being her, her own shit. Where it? <laughs> what is this like, Scarlet Letter, Handmaid's Tale ass looking house? Is that Egan? Does she have an Egan? Dream in me the tempers for that I may serve thee. Myrtle, I wish that when you paused and put your mouse away from the screen, you could actually read it. I'm so sorry about this. It's got to be young her, though. Myrtle Egan School for Girls. Place in me the values nine. That I may feel thy touch divine. Medical equipment, too. There's a bunch of hints of how... There's a deeper history here. Dude, she has a whole shrine of, like, old memorabilia, too. There's a completely deeper history here. Myrtle. So she was just spouting off, like, Eganity right there. And the fact that her room has, like, a needle point in this. <laughs> She's wearing, like, a very conservative, like, garb. Again, it just gives me heavy, like, religious connotation. Has a shrine to... I forget which Egan that was, though. I can't remember if it's the current one or maybe, like, a past one. Is he going for the phone finally? Do we finally find out? Can you call back a block? I don't think you can call back a block number though, so you gotta wait for it to ring again. Also, I hope it's not spoilers necessarily, but somebody did make a good point because this entire show, as I was trying to date the show, um, and I was talking about the archaic technology that they're using on the severed floor, somebody pointed out that by it being all these like analog devices or disconnected computers and servers there's no way for like any it's all like proprietary uh, in terms of their research or the work they're doing you can't really like send it out via internet or like leak it in any way somebody else pointed out the fact you gotta real it's crazy to realize that like well that's not really i don't know about that point because like the any would still have the history up until that point somebody said like for them, hearing that book, they would become radicalized. Like Rickon's book, as ridiculous as it is, that's what would radicalize them because they haven't heard talk like that. But at the same time, if they're a copy of themselves... Well, no, because the, the memories, that's right. I was going to say if they're a copy, they re remember they were a person. But at the same time, if Heli couldn't even remember the color of her mother's eyes, she's only a copy of herself insofar as that she's like self-aware and she knew she had a life so i guess it is like a semi 
blank slate? I don't know. It's, there's so much to ponder. There's so much gray area and nuance that I can't even begin to try to unravel in terms of like what knowledge would they hold of the out like of the previous life, the past life. It sounds like they literally just know I am this person. I am a movie man and I'm a person outside, but in here I, I can't remember anything. Is he going to miss Sil Silvix play? He threw it out? Bro, did he throw out the burner? Oh my god. I can't tell if Mark... He he's either wants to find the truth or he just keeps burying his head more in the sand. <gasps> oh. Date night? Bert and Irving? Oh. New department? Oh, or is it a... a you found this? A while back. You know what? No. If I had to guess, I mean, you, you have plans in an office, right? So like a greenhouse of sorts or whatever the no glass equivalent is. And I'm sure they pick the plants to like rotate out into the office spaces of Lumen. But while you're in here, it's like a like a lush green paradise. Sometimes just me. No, I want to show it to you. Oh, it's beautiful. It's so sweet. It could be just for us. Aww. A secret place. Oh, <laughs> what? Finally. And what I mean to say is that you, your O and D colleagues are, are very nice, but they're oh. also uh, always around. Yes. Oh, oh. We can have a little moment. Oh, Irving, don't be shy. Is we can. Okay? We can embrace. Consent. Oh. Irving, you know. The Lumon manual doesn't say anything about lip to lip contact. Oh! It does discourage romantic fraternization. Oh. This, this can't be romantic. This is professional. Purely professional. Not romantic. I'm truly sorry. I, oh. I'm just not ready. Damn. It's okay, man. I'm, I'm sorry. This is a lot. It's fine. Just stay. Stay. Oh, just spend time stay. with me here. That's so sweet. Yeah, because you'd be craving, dude. If you worked down here, you'd be craving physical contact, emotional connection. Human beings, we we as much as we might try to be like, oh, talk and bluster. Like, I don't need anybody. I'm independent. I don't need this or that. It's like we know we we need each other. Humans are very codependent beings. That then they can be unhealthy or toxic levels of said codependence but end of the day we we need each other to like support each other to love each other to like be support systems even to like you know like love fight cry laugh and all that it's very inhumane very inhuman down there just all very corporate it's supposed to be the literal separation right between like your social life outside upstairs and the business life downstairs so yeah, a, a core piece of you is lacking in that regard so the the yearning one must feel it also brought to mind like are they totally different in versus out because i was just thinking about that I'm, i don't even want to get into like sexuality and preference and all that and like because it seems like inner in, inside heli is a pretty chill like she's you know like i, I you, you likeable character but outside heli is like inside heli you might be me but you're not real you're not real. I mean, Mark is pretty much like the same inside and out, just a little bit like dorkier inside. But I mean, would, would one's like sexual orientation shift? Like is Irving actually uh, homosexual outside of work? That's, that's again, you could write papers on this. You could just so many theories and discussions. Oh, we got the baby. Baby in winter's gotta be rough. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't even realize she was looking at... Hang on a second. Bro, I'm telling you that's Mr. Greener. Looking at looking at him back to me. Yeah. Well, that's the woman from the cabin, right? That's got to be Greener right there. She's so off-putting. Come on. Have the other guy turn around. Looks like we both made it through. Oh, hello. Hi. Devin. We're in the retreat. Devin, I I'm sorry. I you for your coffee. Her, her name kept escaping me for some reason. <laughs> it's character note. Now has 
the child. Oh, he's beautiful. He looks like a William. His name's Bradley, actually. Oh. Not William? You changed it? Did we leave the juice boxes in the car? We must have, yeah. Hi. No. Angelo Arteta. I'm Devin. Angelo Arteta. No, it wasn't greener at all. Still, I don't, I don't like the cut, the cut of this guy's jib. It's me. Congratulations there. Oh, thank you. You two know each other? Yeah, I was. Uh, we met at the birthing cottages. Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you yeah. too, Devin. Yeah, you too. They both are wow, off-putting. Mm -hmm. We should go. Sure. I'm sure there's reason Bye. for it. Bye, Bye Bradley. We can't stay and mingle with the poets. Declan, Kai, come on. Declan. Sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. Expose them early. What does camaraderie mean? Camaraderie. Oh, here we Most go. Most linguists agree it comes from the Latin camera, which means a device used to take a photograph. Here we go again. And of course, the best photographs are in groups of happy friends who love each other deeply. But I think camaraderie is more than smiling together in photos. It's standing together in hard times. It's recognizing a common struggle in another person. That's yeah, on point. Reaching out to offer them a loving hand. I mean, that, that's not even a joke there. That's very much on point. You know what's so ironic is that like any Mark, he is slowly being like further and further radicalized against the company and outer mark is just like burying his head further in the sand and all these different chances he's getting to like get answers or try to dig deeper and all that he's shutting them all down it's just funny he's like diametrically opposed to himself in both instances i mean not a hundred percent not like yin and yang exactly but we're getting there we should return to o and d immediately all of us today Someone's eager to fraternize. Fraternization has nothing to do with it. This could be the start of us. Dylan still can't, can't handle it. Kia always intended. Maybe his ghost can officiate your wedding. This is inappropriate workplace commentary, and oh. I'm self-reporting you. You're reporting me to yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay, you said they were <laughs> making things? Yes, in some kind of machines. We didn't ask what. It's the clubs they murder those goats with. Jesus. Yeah. I agree with Irving. O&D is the next piece of this. Now, once we've mapped the whole floor... To be clear, I do not approve of mapping. Right. What if we go on another mental health walk? Could be fun. What? Oh, Mark. We, we still have a lot of work to do, so. Do you, though? All right. The work is mysterious and important. Indeed. That's good that sounds just like me. <laughs> oh, what is this? Back to work, slackers. Ooh, here's the question, though. Are they actually, like kind of becoming friends or is she just using him because at this point i mean if i were her dude after a suicide attempt she's like screw lumen screw me I, my, she even said in the last episode what i want is for her to wake up while the life drains out of her and to know it was me who did it i don't think she wants to get to know anybody in here i, think, I mean if the answers help her to leave if uncovering a mystery or a plot or the true intent of lumen incorporated is to it gets her out that's her goal she wants to get out or she wants to kill her audi that put her in this hellhole so uh, mark's yeah mark is a sweet summer child definitely a little naive praise Kier. praise Kier. hey and he's falling for it you're fraternizing too oh my god what? no i sure I'm a leader who cares about his employees oh yeah and takes their requests seriously really yeah Look at you, all dewy mouth. Yeah, that gooey smile. You never smile. smile at me. He's right, Mom. You are sparing with the facial encouragements. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I smile all the time. Hey there. Oh, there what are you all talking about? And there, oh, oh, and there it goes. Uh, uh, just, hey, Melchick. Uh, we're dis discussing the... Yes, uh, Mrs... Uh, Mrs. Casey? Mrs. Casey, yes. Mrs. Casey. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wait, where is she? Part-time innies may not be as socialized and sophisticated as yourself, but they still must be held accountable for their actions. Part-time innies? Miss Casey was told to supervise Helly. 
And she failed at that task. Oh, my God. Because I snuck Kelly out. I mean, if anyone should be in the break room, it's me. They put Miss... That poor... Oh, my God. <laughs> that poor broken-in, bought-in woman. I don't know about bought-in, but you can tell there's fear behind. Especially in the last episode. Like, she seems sterile when we first met her during Irving's wellness session. But I think that like last episode there there's fear is what drives her but yeah of course like the, she's being punished for not doing her task even if it was someone else's fault she still let it happen this poor woman she's part-time valiance not a core principle but sweet who won't you go to the break room for she's just a wellness counselor mark wellness counselor i feel like a detective yes but she shouldn't be punished i mean i thought heli needed a walk i mean i'm allowed to do that just a walk oh we have you on the security cameras here or were you sniffing around other departments while your department falls woefully below quarter she almost died it's not your job to play nursemaid to every new refiner christ okay so Ooh. what is my job oh are you really asking me that Oh, come on, Mark. Get a backbone of this woman. Will you make me throw my mug at you? Mark's actually standing up to her a little bit. He's got a little bit of spine in there. He's like, well, what is my job then, Mrs. Man? Like, yeah. Oh, what is it we actually do here? The work is mysterious. We surf gear, you child. And until you get that through your mildewed little brain and hit quota... MDR's hallway privileges are hereby revoked. Jesus. So I... get your little ass back to your desk and stay there until you're told to move. Ooh. Dude, I oh, I'd be seething. Dude, yeah, he's being more and more galvanized. And is that part of the test though? Dude, she she does she plays this character so well. She makes me viscerally angry. She's like, "We serve Kier, you child. <laughs> we serve Kier. Who's Kier? Who's Kier? What the CEO? Jesus, what is the work? We serve Kier. Get out of town. Goddamn tragedy for the ages. MDR will mourn the will they won't the energy shared by Miss Casey and myself. Oh yeah. And I think I wore this nice ass shirt for her today. When you picked that shirt this morning, you didn't know she existed. Well, maybe love transcends severance. You think so? LOL. No. <laughs> you think so? No. What about you and Mark? Dylan. <laughs> what? You two enjoy uh, sneaking off the other day? Baby goats? Oh, my God. Why are you saying it like that? <laughs> baby goats. Are you implying that baby goats is code for sex with Mark S? A euphemism? Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. is, is baby goats code for sex with my guys no they were actual goats why would we call it that okay who knows yeah i believe you <laughs> i can't Mark. with dylan you find out what happened chuckle fuck over she's here. in the break room is that because of us and we're not allowed in the outer hallways anymore till we hit quota so no more interdepartmental visits Ooh. Are you serious? There comes the anger. Where else is he gonna put it, right? Ooh, is oh Orvi, no no. Don't show me the face of this oh, this poor this poor broken man. Textbook example of like how the workplace actually works, by the way. Like it's it's oftentimes how it's unfortunately doled out. In my opinion, that's that's the that's the sign of like poor middle management. Like if you're if you're a manager who has a supervisor and your supervisor, even if they are like a complete raging lunatic or just a Machiavellian witchcraftian devil woman like Cabell, right? Like even if that is your boss and she's like and like that's no excuse to then yell at your quote unquote subordinates. They are part of your team. I know this is a weird high horse to take all of a sudden, but like I'm just saying it's that's how you, I that's it's tale as old as time in the workplace is that your boss yells at you and you're like, I can't yell at my boss, so I'm the boss of so and so. I'm gonna yell at this person. And it's just like whether you call it power tripping, call it like you just in, in, an inferiority complex. I don't know. Poor Irving. I'm sorry, Mark. It's it's my fault. Come on, Mark. Bring it back. Setting a bad example as the senior most refiner. 
Roll back, Mark. Apologize. Which way did you say it was to O and D? Hey, yo. Rage Against the Machine. They can't send us all to the break room at once. But again, something tells me this is part of the plan. Something tells me. Because li literally everything that's been happening so far has been relatively orchestrated, right? Like, this all seems very like, oh, go us. We're going to do our own thing. But like, literally, like it, whether it was Milchek planting the fake painting, like literally Milchek and Cabell were having the conversation. And Milchek's like, you know what they're doing, right? There's mingling between departments. And she's like, yeah. I'm, yeah, this is happening. Like, she was cognizant of it, and she was letting it happen. I'm worried this is all part of the plan. Or a, a grander plan. Oh. Maybe not? Or I'm immediately wrong. Not all my theories track. Oh, we're gonna rise up. Rise up. Oh, boy. Screw the work. Screw Egan. What are they doing? What are they? more people than I've ever seen. What are they, 3D uh, printing? Same. It's okay. I know change can be disorienting, but oh. MDR is here now. Here now? You are welcome here, much as I hope all of us will be welcome to visit you at your place of endeavors. Go of course. On. Surely you must have some questions for them. Oh, boy. Where's your pouch? <laughs> so... It's called macro data refinement. What do you refine? Macro data? Uh, is that a watering can? Avoiding the question. We think it might be supplies for the executive wing upstairs. Then again, last week's output had more of an aggressive feel. The hatchets weren't aggressive. Shh. Hatchets? Um, we've been trying to figure out how it all fits together. We found a uh, department that opposite way from here that's uh well raising baby goats raising baby goats weirder things have happened there is a lot unknown to us as well but we keep plugging along it's important work obviously everything sure. we do here is important for the greater good for eganity it's important because it actually is or because you're saying it is <laughs> <laughs> maybe you we should work together on this. Yes. <laughs> Everybody who's just doing the jobs and working, everybody just wants to figure out, like, what are we doing here? Like, what is the work? You children, children you child, child you are serving Egan. 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 What are we doing? doing? What exactly? Know, finding out why there are goats, or how big this place is, or how many of us there are. She seems disinterested. I think most of them. I mean, why won't they tell us? what we're doing here. What, what are they so afraid of? If the Egan philosophy is illumination above all. Illumination beyond all, Ooh. but yes. <laughs> then why doesn't that include us? Why are we down here still working in the dark? Ooh, dude, look at Mark leading a little rebellion here. Dude, he read, he read Rickon's book. He's like, I, I learned a thing or two about... about What's right? That was poetic as shit, man. <laughs> I can't with Dylan. Mark is right. Dylan said, F that man. Yes. We yes. all. Irving, here, <laughs> would want us to feel the warm embrace of knowledge and truth. That way we could be true partners in his teachings. Of course. Exactly. Mark and I should make contact with his goat department, see what they know. And. We could each bring one aid to camp. Uh oh. Ooh, smart. Smuggled something. Oh, what now? Okay, what's the. <laughs> Alright, what group break room session? Not children, Mr. Milchick, we didn't do anything wrong. Oh, now it's the silent treatment. Here we go. Oh my god. I, I can't stand I can't stand this. I everything about her. Like Milchek, I mean he's a he's I almost said he's following orders. Milchek's character at least, I love the dynamic that he has where there's there's something so sinister hidden behind that smile and that face and those those 
kind fake eyes and like you can i'm scared of him but you can read him and he he his behavior i don't i don't know what it is that's like not off putting about his behavior but her i can't i can't stand this holier than thou like i know it's purposeful and she's doing a fan the, the actor is doing a fantastic job but like all right what is this group flagellation what are we doing back to the stone age desks have been taken away what's up what type of punishment, huh? Key, chosen one key. Oh no. Key, brilliant one key. This is punishment in itself. Brings the bounty to the plain, through the torment, through the rains. Progress, knowledge, show no fear. To her credit, she's chosen one. certainly a true believer. Key. I trusted you, and you abused that trust. Here we go. Your inefficiency and free-range chicken roaming is ultimately your responsibility. Escort him to the break room. Cool. All that just for... Okay. Why do I feel like it's going to be different this time? How long has it been since he's been to the break? No, he went to the break room the other day. But he's not bought in anymore. Dude, what if he just makes a run for it or something? Interesting. Mark's demeanor... Mark's demeanor has changed. Oh, Miss Casey. Back-to-back -back shifts in here, huh? Is it all mill check? Someone else? Excuse me. I'm sorry. What happened to your hand? Hmm. Apparently I jammed my hand at work replenishing a water cooler. Sure. At least that's what they tell me. Would you punch a desk Those or a wall or something? Very heavy. Did he assault someone? They are. But also, look at that. She gave him a second chance at a second date where hopefully he's sober and doesn't like purposefully try to get into a fight with somebody on the street. Well, I mean, verbal altercation, regardless. Man, I. What pomp and circumstance. Like, here we are here. Here we're not queer. Here we're here to serve the. Like, what is this? <laughs> Cabell is just she's a she's like a cartoon villain she's a comic book character she belongs like the boys or something like that like you would see her like head of Vought or some I don't know man all of that is to say Mark is the one that's he initially already volunteered to go down for it so all that was was just a public a public show of it but something's changed inside any Good Mark for sure oh yeah see just water have you uh, seen the princess <laughs> no not since her birth hmm. But I did talk on the phone with your sister. I don't know how much she tells you about her. Latching difficulties? <laughs> yes. I, I'm aware. Maybe too aware. I don't know. Well, she Look just wanted the names of some lactation consultants. Laying on the charm. Yeah. Well, it's probably good to get an expert opinion. I mean, from someone other than... Rickon. Rickon. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Look at this. There's chemistry there. Did you ever think about having kids? She's a plant, Mark. She's a plant. With Gemma? You know, we tried for a little while. Ta open it up. Talking. Wasn't really working. Okay, this this is this is good. This is this is positive progress for his outside self in terms of processing. So we're going on dates, honestly trying in this circumstance, like making conversation. Now she's asking about the very well known dead wife, unfortunately, and so Mark the widow is now opening up and talking a little bit about it. This is good. This the notes are still messy. <laughs> Need a full page for each character, more or less. Adopting at one point wasn't really working. You talked about adopting at one point, but no, no. Then you think, okay, this is the life you've been given, and uh, that's another life. You don't get that one, so do something with this. That's positive. That's very healthy. Yeah. Well, what I'm saying healthy stuff. She said. That's <laughs> hmm. a healthy mindset, though. Much of life is. It's not really about the trials and tribulations that we face. Most of that's going to be out of our control, but it's all on how we react to it, how we like how we take it in, what we do with it, how how we move forward in our actions. That's very 
healthy like mindset for her to have like okay we tried for kids couldn't have kids so going forward that this is simply okay it's not in the cards now how are we gonna make the best of our life knowing that we live in the reality where that's not gonna be the traditional route it's not gonna be an option she was uh very pragmatic always had a plan b you know one time we were supposed to go on this camping trip and is it weird that i'm talking about her right now I not at like... all no this is healthy no, i think it's also healthy yes yeah, but we're on a date I... but 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 i haven't walked out on you yet oh that's nice through this you learn about him hoist the flag for when my best friend died and all this i mean i like talking about him even though it's sometimes it's hard and there's definitely like pain and loss and sorrow is still there as with all the losses in my life like anybody else that i've met that's had losses like hearing them speak with reverence about somebody they cared for or loved you not only get to like like share that intimate moment and like kind of i don't know if bask in that is the right word but you do kind of learn more about a person based on their trauma and like what what they've lost themselves so no this is this is yeah healthy you know sometimes i think She'd want me to get off my ass. And sometimes I think she's not worried about me at all. She's just pissed that she's dead. <laughs> she's a part of you. Yes, always will you be. You know, you can't just separate yourself. Oh, no, but you can. <gasps> oh, Alexa. <laughs> Yikes. With this exciting new procedure. Oh, here we go. Right yes, you did. Laying on a charm. Ha ha ha. It hits a little bit close to home. Oh, is she going to look up who they are? Gabriella. Okay, Hannah. Oh, dude. Oh, we're we're doing a deep dive. Who are these people? Why? Oh, maybe they have connections to to Lumen as well. It's Art Arteta, not Arletta, and their kids, Declan and Kai, plus the new kid that was gonna be named William, sus husband. They're both sus as hell. Spouse of Angela and his wife celebrate his reelection to office. Oh, ooh, oh, hang on the. The plute thickens. Angelo's involved in government? On Severin's characters, we gotta start a whole new character sheet. For Re-election office. The power couple stepped out in black tie attire for an evening of celebration. Campaign donors, all part of the Reservoir Journal. Okay, so what? It, when it says re-election... The Arteta family takes time out of their busy schedule to pose for... Kier, Dude, Kier Life Magazine in the, their hometown of Kier. Excuse, Excuse me? me? Dude, Kier, Kier everywhere. Oh, are you kidding? Oh, Jesus. Okay. That's crazy. Indeed, it has been a transformative few years for the Artetas in many ways. Not only has Angelo, the former mayor of the pint-sized town of Wildstone. Okay. We have locations. Holy sh... Angelo was the former mayor. Wildstone. Oh, Wildstone? Hang on. What was that again? Wildstone. Also, is it a coincidence? I see Kier Town, where one of the tenements of Egan's whole philosophy, Wiles. Yeah, Wiles, one of the tenements. Wiles, Wileston. Why are you kidding me with this? Sh the former mayor of the pine sized town of, of, of Wileston ascended to a seat of, of major statewide power on the momentum of his controversial and vocal support for legalized severance. Okay, severance. Oh, I'm sure oh, he's in deep. And since one re-election by an even greater landslide. Why would they say former mayor? So formerly was mayor of Wild Wildston, but now he's in Kier? Or is it saying that a, a seat of major statewide power? I'm sorry that I'm spending so much time on this, but like this is this is a lore dump. This is so much information right here. But the family's home life has been further upended by what Gabrielle calls a frequently traumatic renovation of their kitchen. And they only stay on that for a second? Are you kidding me? It's like you have to pause. The Kier Chronicle? Yeah, wait, 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 didn't I already say that? Actually, wait. Dude, everything is Kier. Are you are you kidding me right now? This is this is literally like Umbrella Corporation. State Senator becomes leading figure in severance debate. So he's a state senator right now. Oh shit. Okay, hang on. Takes a stand on defending corporations like Lumens. Corporations like Lumen? Like there's more? Lumen's use of the controversial severance procedure, which allows workers to experience two separate lives, one in and out of office. Freshman state senator Angela Arteta, news politics severance two years ago. This has been on talks for a while. Severance a game changer, says local official. Hello? Yeah. Interesting. She's here. Yeah. 
dude, we learned so much from just a few, a couple internet articles. So we have the Artetas. Angelo Arteta is a state senator. Within the last two years or so, because that article, I don't know how recent that was. A couple of side articles said two years. But he's currently a state senator wherever they are. I'm still, tr I'm still trying to figure out where they are exactly. I Because I, I know it says Mark Scout of Allentown. So I don't know if we're in Allentown. But then also it said their hometown of Kier, the Kier Chronicle, the pint-sized town of Wileston. Like... Oh my God! Careful about your step. The plute. This way. It rick the plute rickens. Are we still in the cabin? Okay. Ah, <clears throat> oh, you must be Devin. Mm. Devin, this is Mrs. Selvig. Hi. Yeah, and you're Mark's neighbor. Thanks mm. so much for meeting with us. Oh, it's a privilege. I went giddy when Mark mentioned you were looking for someone. Mm. <laughs> so serendipitous. <laughs> this <laughs> kelp worked, huh? Mm-hmm. The and kelp this must worked. Be little Eleanor. Rickon, Gemma, Devin, sister now has child, now has girl named Eleanor. Should be an excellent recruit. Can we sever babies? Eleanor. We are talking to a few candidates. Of course. Oh, here we go. Sorry. <laughs> no, don't be sorry. That's what babies do. Mm. It's true. I... Duh. I don't get upset about crying. Oh, darling. Like, crying babies in public and on airplanes, I don't get upset about it at all. It's a baby. What the f*** do you think is going to happen? Now, crying baby in a movie theater, I will punt kick that thing out of there. Don't bring your child into it. Like, if it's like a kid's movie, if you're seeing like Despicable Me in 13 or whatever, and you want to bring your toddler in there, then sure, that makes sense. But like, the amount of R-rated movies that I go to where like... Not only like children, but like oftentimes babies or infants that just won't stop talking or crying. That's different. You have some respect for yourself and those around you. I know it's hard finding a sitter, but don't ruin someone else's night at the expense of yours. Like I come on, like who are we really all having a good time right now? Like I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm getting worked up. Kids are, are wonderful gifts from uh the heavens. Kier himself. Oh, she has the magic touch, does she? It's got to be the, the unicorn. <laughs> the unicorn scrubs. Is she humming the cure? Kier, chosen one, Kier. Kier, brilliant one, Kier. Brings the bounty to the plain, through the torment, through the rains. Progress, knowledge, show no fear. I'll look it up at the end of this episode, but is she humming the Kier anthem right now? Felix. 7, Hide and seek. The episode's 7, title. 46, 7, Dylan. I've awoken you at home. I need to know where you put it. Where I put what? Oh, hi. Bro, what? What? There's so much going on. Bro, oh my god. Every every frame. I'm gonna expand upon Dylan on the secondary character sheet, I guess. Uh, he's a damn father, okay, of at least one child. I didn't know they could do that. I've a, I didn't know they could do that. Bro said, I've awoken you at home. Is he in the closet? Like, what? The ideographic card you took from OND. I saw the footage of you taking it. Did you smuggle it out? Is it here? Holy shit, is this my house? Dylan, listen. You have no idea how sensitive this information is. If someone paid you to smuggle out that card... No, no, I just... I, I put it in the bathroom, uh, second stall behind the toilet. Thank you. I didn't even know what it was. That's fine, too. Daddy! Daddy! What? What the f***? We told you to count to a thousand and wait outside. Is that my kid? End it. Bro. Bro, the implications. First of all, you... Bro, you can't just erase that, can you? He's gonna remember that. He was trying to keep that from him, too? Oh, my God. He said... <laughs> what? He said... <laughs> he, can't... 
I'm at a loss for words. He said we told you to wait to count to a thousand wait outside. They can remotely activate people? What? <laughs> they can what? <laughs> it's like Russian sleeper agents. X says mission report. Mission report. December 16, 1991. We good here? We're good. Of course he was cool with it. He works for the company. He's a dad. Dylan's a dad. So But now Dylan, any Dylan knows. Should we, we should probably call our cars. That is insane implications i got a rap sheet a mile long what is going on here i'm literally right like writing in all caps remote severance activation yeah. <laughs> dude this show is so good that's june oh she's in a band hey, um this is tonight like right now should should we go to this maybe what is it well, it's this band. I I kind of know one of them. If it's lame, we'll leave. If it's lame, we'll leave. You mean we'll if leave. it isn't as cool as we are? Hmm. Exactly. Exactly. I am feeling very old right now. <laughs> no, you totally fit in. Don't worry about it. Uh, hi. Uh, two beers, please. <laughs> Excuse me. Two beers, please, for this wonderful punk show. I'm sure afterwards I'll feel right as rain. Hello. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, come on. They're friendlier than that. I'm not gonna lie. I, I might have made mention of it in previous, like, content before, but, like, you know, I've been to some stuff like this. I've gotten more... I, I've been to more metal shows these last two years than I have been in my entire life, and I'll tell you, the vibes there, immaculate, and the people there, angels. I, I feel safer in a metal show than I would going to see, like, Garth Brooks perform live in a stadium with all these, like, lift kit trucks around. Or, I don't know, man. Just, like, the different vibes, different kinds of people. I hope they do, like, a friendly betrayal. I mean, yeah, sometimes they can be, like, you know, like, an like anarchists in their own right. Oh, there she is. You're filming your Sure. Oh, thank you. Jesus. Welcome, Mark. Mark, I don't think you're safe here, actually, especially if June sees you. I don't know what she's gonna. You, Lumen! I hate you, Lumen! Man's a square, but he's trying. Hi. Uh. Hey, I'm, uh. The guy from work. Yeah. How are you holding up? How do you think? Sorry, this is my friend Alexa. This is. June. Alexa, Alexa. Hey, you guys are really good. Yeah. Are we? I'm pretty sure we suck. Damn. Well, that last song was great. Right, what you know, right? Yeah. Your dad would have really liked it, I bet. Really? Yeah. How the f would you even know that? All right. Well. Okay, maybe the metal scene and the pop punk scene are a little bit more different than I thought. I've been to more metal shows than I have pop, like, like punk shows, so... Can I take off? Yeah. The show always takes me to places so, that I never would have guessed. She's the daughter of, uh, someone I worked with. He died, and it's... It's been difficult to piece together. Okay. There's definitely something there, unless she's a plant. Why is Greener making house calls? Harmony. Did you find her? I got a tip from a campus cop against college. She... What the f are you wearing? I was doing some private research. What's that a euphemism for? <laughs> Doc, I've had a day. And I'm still trying to figure out what part of this conversation couldn't have happened on the phone. Doug? Is his first name Doug? Someone's holed up in one of Gans's old lab buildings. The dean's told security to look the other way. Probably is Ragabi. It is her. Ragabi. Right. Want to come with me and find out? 
No, I do not. Let me know when you have her. Oh, maintenance is installing tonight. I think it's a good call. So, you're like a nurse or something? <laughs> Jeez. Tracking her down. Hiding out in an old laboratory. Oh? A little bit of hanky panky. Oh, yikes. With a little healthy dose of trauma mixed in there. Mr. Scott. I mean, Scout. That's not going to be sus. Digging through the trash late at night. The props to him for trying to go back for the phone. If she comes out, though, he can blame it on the whole the can situation, I guess. Did he find it? All right, good, good. Why are his knuckles bruised, though? Like, there's a co no, no other part of his body seems hurt, so my guess is either he punched, like, like the desk or a wall or something, unless he literally... But nobody, but like, Milchek didn't have any bruises on him. I don't think he punched somebody. I think he just might have punched something. Out of anger, probably. Are we finally answering the fuck the, the phone? Come on. Is it Ragabi? Maybe answer it somewhere secure. Hello? Who is this? Female voice. Uh, gotta, gotta be Ragabi. Uh, friend of Petey's. Is this Mark Scout? Uh... What did he tell you before he died? Nothing. I... 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 I wanna... I wanna understand. Can you meet me now? It's about to get dangerous though. Is it Ragabi? Oh, I thought it was gonna cut away. I'm so glad we're not. Maintenance is installing. What is maintenance installing? Wait, so, because they said it was internal. Is Ragabi like... So many questions. Okay, I thought they were meeting at Lumen for a moment. Are you deep throat? They just installed the HAL 9000. Is Greener tailing him? Oh no, Mark, you're possibly in danger. New security door? What's the, I can't even read the sign. What room is this? Macrodata refinement. Wait, what'd they install? Macrodata refinement. It's an open room now. No more desks. It has a new secure door. And whoever he's going to be meeting, it's going to be putting her in danger. Are you alone? She's in danger too now. Greener's going to just like, take her out. Or take her in. Yeah, it's just me. It's got to be. I used to teach at this school. I know. Yeah, I forgot Mark was a teacher. I forgot Mark used to be a I'm so sorry to keep interrupting. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get to somewhere safer. She knows it's risky. She has a tail. Get in the vehicle. <laughs> what do they say? Never go to a second location? Oh, man. Wait, hang on. Was that Greener following or was that her? I can't tell how severe that silhouette was that was like pursuing her down the, the stairs. Oh, that might have just that might have just been her. Man, oh my god, I was losing my mind. Oh, so much, so much information, so many, so many interesting things. For being one of the shorter episodes, there was so much to that. They added like an inch, like a oh well, you know, you know, you know what it is. I just, I just put it, piece it together. They're literally gonna like keep them like locked up. They're literally gonna say you clock in. You can't roam halls anymore. You've lost your cage-free, free, free-range free chicken privileges. We are, we're going to lock you in for your shift in your office every day now going forward. That's what it had to have been. Jesus. just It's amazing how much punishment we can dole out and how severe things can be in this hellhole. We found out Dylan is a father. He has a kid. We found out they can remotely activate the severance, like severance, like just out in a out in a boot we found out ragabi which i assume that woman is ragabi we found out ragabi is the one who helped pd reintegrate and knows a way to like like the, to, to hack the chips although it's kind of imperfect june's concert mark's love life so much and it's so well executed even devin doing digging into the politics in the air like and what i assume is the area i gotta look it up like i don't want to find spoilers like once i finish 
the first season i'm gonna do a deep a, d a deeper dive as it were i want to find out where they're living i don't know if they're in the town of kier but the fact that the town of kier exists with the kier chronicle but there's also what like wiles wileston wiles is one of the the, 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 the nine tenements of 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 kier and that can't be a coincidence my head's spinning um i said what i said during the majority of the episode my theories mostly all still stand uh it's funny how some things i'll say are, are immediately disproven but there's still some long-term things i appreciate the effort to try to galvanize the workforce and like seize the means of uh disruption as it were but didn't work out too well the rebellion was very quickly quelled both any and audi mark now are slow like they're i think they're both kind of like uh lumens eh, and not so good but we don't even know what mark did in the break room aside from like the implication that either someone like maybe like hit his knuckles like like you know how you like what nuns do that rapping or whatever the whipping of sorts so maybe he was like hurt his penance or out of frustration or anger he punched something i don't know there's a lot still up in the air as always thank you guys and gals so much for watching that was great that was a that was a great episode we're, we're now two-thirds of the way through severance we only have three episodes left and I'm, I'm dreading the ending of this but luckily season two i mean it's a little ways out but season two is on the horizon a hundred percent be reacting to severance season two uh as the show premieres i mean oof, but like once I finish this, thank you guys and gals so much for watching. As always, I'm I'm so grateful for the love and support. You being here, watching, liking the video, commenting for the algorithm, yada yada. You got to put those reminders in there. Subscribe to help even bolster the channel even more. Social media, I'm I'm on social media. I'm most active on Instagram. I'm Movie Man 101 Pro. Uh, my various exploits, my succinct film reviews are on there, and then just like life stuff and. Sh posting all that fun stuff so gaming whenever i have time to stream i try to stream at least once a week twitch.tv forward slash movie man 101 I, I haven't done it yet and I, I need to get into the habit of doing this so i want to give a shout out and a, a big thank you to all my current patrons and there's not a long list to those that have subscribed at the hello travelers tier and below which means these are the people that at this tier you get access to my entire youtube library of reaction content no ads unedited uncensored completely full unadulterated content uh all available the whole backlog plus what i do now the members of the higher tier the i'm something of a movie man myself tier and remember this tier is all that i just listed before but also access to full like i'm, I'm uploading the backlog now but i will be doing full movie like like movie movies like stuff i obviously can't do on here but just full patreon exclusive you can't find it on youtube i might do a highlight reel but you can't find these on youtube otherwise full movie movie reactions and commentaries on this tier i have to thank jen and megan ams i wanted to thank you give a shout out Feel free to join on. Uh, the numbers are growing. I mean, the finances are all on display there, but the more finances that I have coming in to like help fund this endeavor, the easier it is for me to do it and the quicker I can get the content out. So thank you guys and gals so much for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode of Sea Rants and goodbye, travelers.